Speaking of the Sun Bowl, a little under 48 hours until kickoff and the Miners are ready to go. Not only on the field, but off the field as well in, in the stands. However, it's going to look nothing like this on Saturday with capacity being at 18%. KTSM 9's Colin Deaver takes us inside the Sun Bowl where preparations have been taking place for weeks. For six months, the question has loomed. Would football happen this fall at the Sun Bowl? In less than 48 hours, UTEP will be one of 76 FBS teams to play this fall, and the Miners' clash with Stephen F. Austin will be one of seven games played on Saturday. A great majority of the planning and preparing for fans, uh, the schedule, the construction, and all those kinds of things to open up the stadium for the game on Saturday uh, pretty much are, are in place and done. Now we just have to execute it. The stadium will be at 18% capacity. Just under 8,600 fans will filter into a socially distanced Sun Bowl in hopes of seeing a Miners win. Athletic Director Jim Center says that right now they're expecting that to be the capacity for the duration of the season, but things could change. I think everything is fluid right now. As far as we know, it will be that number unless someone tells us we have to reduce the stadium capacity or we could increase the stadium capacity. As of Thursday, a little under half of the allotted tickets are still available. The school has regulations in place for fans. Among them, masks are mandatory, tailgating is prohibited, and at the end of the game, fans will be released by section similar to an airplane. We're opening up the gates a half hour earlier. Parking lots open three hours before the game. And so what we're saying is, you know, spread out when you're coming. Cases in COVID-19 hospitalizations in the Sun City have been dropping in recent weeks, but Saturday's game will be played as the city of El Paso asks residents to avoid large Labor Day weekend gatherings and one week before UTEP's scheduled graduation commencement, which was canceled earlier this summer. Regardless, UTEP likes the plan that it has put in place. In continuing to take, you know, the temperature of where we're at with our local, you know, in uh, city, county mandates from our leadership here, all the time continue to think, we want to host fans uh, as long as as long as the rules and regulations will allow us to. UTEP and SFA will kick off at 7 p.m. Saturday at the Sun Bowl. Reporting in El Paso, Colin Deaver, KTSN 9 Sports.